Hey, Oliver Shoulder here, and today we're going to look at how to apply presets in Lightroom. So as you can see, I just downloaded a preset off a website, and um, I just imported it in. All you do is just double-click to import it. And so what I'm going to do right now is go to my Develop module, and on the left-hand side, you can see that there's presets. Now, there's presets that Lightroom comes with, and there's about 20 or so of those, and those are just general, like black and white, and a, a few others. But um, if you want to get sort of more um, more customized presets, um, you can get lots online. If you just Google um, like Lightroom preset download, you can find them. And then so once you've got the one you want, you can actually tweak it because all that is is really just stuff on the sidebars and once you've done that you select the photos that you want your preset to be applied to or your modified preset and you hit sync and you'll get a, um, a box with a whole bunch of options and so let's say you just want to sync um, certain color settings then you can do that or if you just want to sync the exposure plus two because all your photos were um, underexposed and you want to add a little bit more light to them and so there's all sorts of things that you can do there's also um, ways to um, ch if you choose the lens that you shot with if there's any distortion from that lens you can actually get rid of the distortion and then apply that through a preset um, you can create a profile and it's called uh, lens correction which is at the bottom of the, um, the little sidebar on the right hand side and so that's really useful if you've got a lens that has a lot of distortion um, fortunately the lens I use was a 70 to 200 which doesn't have a lot of distortion and so now I'm just going through some of my other photos and just tweaking them a little bit because since you've applied this preset, all this preset is is just a bunch of little bars that were dragged one way or another. It's like plus 53 vibrance, minus 29 saturation, minus 5 temperature, all these settings. And so once you've got that, you just go to File, hit Export, and you can go through. There's a whole bunch of settings. You can export it to um, sites like Flickr or Facebook and then um, just hit the export button and let it export and so that's my tutorial thanks for watching